Hey what's up guys, here's Juan here, and this is going to be a short intro, and let's get the vlog started. Oh yeah! Oh man! Joseph Janders, you need to listen to mom! Wait, mom's calling! Hold up! Yes! Okay! You heard that? Mom's gonna whoop your ass! It's too pure. I'm gonna skip school. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. I'm gonna skip school. And I'll show you guys how easy it is. See? All right. Watch how easy this is to skip school. All right. Now there's no security whatsoever. So that means anybody can just literally walk out. Now, I didn't go first and second period. Well, I did go. Um, because they'll call your parents if you don't show up to first and second. So I showed up. See? Done. Alright guys, so that is how you leave school. It's pretty easy for me because there's like no administrators in that part of the school. And um, there was lots of cop cars, so I had to get a bus to take me to the other side of town, so, um, I'm on the other side of town, um, but, um, going to my neighborhood, um, so, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not really worried that they'll call my parents, because, uh, I've actually skipped an entire day of school before, and, uh, all I have to do is just block my mom's phone number from the school so they won't call her, or send her an email, I've already done that, so, I mean, I just did it because I was waiting for my friend and he didn't show up. I guess he pussied out or something. So, uh, yeah. Hot ass day. It's like, what, 31 degrees out? So, uh, yeah. I'm like a kilometer away from home. So, I mean, uh, I just gotta find the right time to, you know, just go home because, uh, my grandma would be at home. And, um, I've already skipped school, like, what, five times already? And I can't give her the same excuse. Well, my excuse was, um, I took a test and they let me out early, so, I mean, I gotta come up with another excuse, or just wait, or hang out somewhere, actually. I can go to the library, but, uh, I'll have to spend another $2. All I have is $3 left. I spent, like, 120 bucks of my paychecks. So, uh, yeah. Okay, gonna make a food room. Hey, dog. Uh, oh my god, there's a bunch of water. Uh, let's eat. Well, let's see what's in this glorious fridge. And absolutely nothing. Alright, uh, mac and cheese is probably like a day old. I don't even know. Um, it's fucking chicken and rice. Well, we have a, well, we have a family owned business, so there's like a shift ton of food here you know, all the time in the fridge. So, we literally can't store shit in here. 
Actually, what is that? Hold on. What's in here? Hmm, that looks good. Alright, uh... What's in here? Open, motherfucker. Okay. Well, there's honey barbecue wings. Uh, I'm not a fan of honey barbecue. What the hell is that? Uh, I don't know what's in there. It's like, fuck it. Oh. Did I crack it? The f oh, yeah, I cracked it. Yep, see that? I'm a genius, aren't I? Well, uh, that's what happens when something stays into in there too long. Actually, I might go fix myself a plate of this stuff. There's like pieces of shrimp in there. Dog. Look at the little doggy. You want to make some chromosomes? This is gonna make Cleveland Brown real happy. See the little dog. So somebody got hit. RCMP cars everywhere. He got blood all over him. He got his corpse in a blanket. It's crazy, man. I'm fucked up for filming this shit. All right, guys, so it's been one hour, and right now the cops are putting those uh, crime scene cones all over the area, or, like, evidence of where they see, like, blood and stuff like that. But, uh, man, I actually feel sorry for this guy. I mean, he, you know, he just wanted to ride his bike out, and um, didn't go well for him. Dang. Now I'm actually scared to ride my bike now of what just happened and uh, there's been like two murders or not murders but deaths I mean we have a guy who died in a bicycle accident and we had someone who got shot over here next to my house over here and of course just casually having somebody riding their bike yeah it's probably not a very good idea after you know somebody just got hit it's probably not a very good idea and of course a motorcycle in the background which is what the bicycle bicycle rider got hit with all right guys so we're coming up on the crash site of last night it is a uh, noon right now it's 12 p.m. and uh, about 11 hours ago this happened um, around here is the crash site yeah, you can see the victims all in you can kind of see it right here yeah there's still blood there Damn, and then his blood just kind of just squirted everywhere here. And then here is the victim's body. The victim's corpse. Remember when I filmed the, uh, the blanket? Yeah, this is where his corpse was laying, and this was all his blood. Damn. And around here, there's some, uh, pieces of glass and motorcycle parts. Yeah, you can kind of see there's this mirror. Yeah, and some... And a windscreen. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what happened. So, uh, basically the dude uh, was riding his bike with no headlights on. He had no lights, nothing. Because on the bike there was no lights. Um, so he was just riding in the middle of the night. And there was a motorcyclist in an orange um, Yamaha R6 2005, I think. Yeah, and, and he was doing like 180 kilometers per hour doing a wheelie, and um, he didn't see it, but he actually hit the guy in the bike. Um, I all all I heard was, um, you know, all I heard was <laughs> like outside my window. Um, it didn't really matter to me because, uh, you know, there's always random noises outside. So, uh, 
so yeah, the bicyclist was dead on impact, um, and the motorcyclist, um, he had uh, life-threatening injuries, and he died at the hospital. Uh, so um, right now it is uh, Wednesday, yeah, the first day of June. So it's actually Wednesday. Um, I filmed this like five days ago, or th four or five days ago. So shit's a little bit different. Oh god, lighting's shitty. Uh, so right now, um, at the uh, the crash site, or not the crash site, but somewhere near it, um, there's actually uh, flowers and a balloon. And uh, last Sunday, uh, there was a bunch of people gathered up with their got in their cars, and um, they just like lined up, you know. So shit's crazy. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys this. If you guys ride bikes, please exercise extreme caution. I don't want any of you guys to end up like that guy right there. All right? You know, if you're riding your bike, make sure you look both ways before you ride across the street. Um, please use headlights, um, helmets. Screw those. Because I, I ride a bike and I don't even use a helmet. I, I just, if I fall, I fall. You know, that's how shit happens. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog here. Uh, if you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe um, for more. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.